Jesse, how are you doing on this fine Saturday morning? I'm good. I'm just really excited because I've, I've just released the music video to Calm in the Eye of the Storm, so I'm happy, but also kind of like nervous because it's finally out there for everyone to see. So, Jesse, before we play the song, can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, so Calm in the Eye of the Storm, it was written almost to myself whilst I was trying to overcome like a massive traumatic event in my life at that time. So I wrote this to myself to kind of help me get over what I was going through. I wanted the video's message to kind of align with that. So it's all really about resilience. And I'm hoping that people who listen to it will be inspired to keep going, like no matter what they're going through, because it is really tough, but there's always hope and we don't have to let our past define us. Can you tell us a bit about the music video as well? Because it's pretty interesting. Yeah, so the time that I was talking about, at first I thought it was just something that I randomly come up with, but on more like reflection, because it's been a couple of years, I realized the time that I was um, writing it, I was actually really into like Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. And- I was getting into a lot of that vibes, yeah. Yeah, so I was I was like, oh, well, that's probably what influenced me, like subconsciously. Um, I I wanted, of course, the the message to have some sort of like symbolism. So I googled like overcoming struggles, like symbols or whatever on Google, and there was a quote with a lotus flower, uh, which apparently is about overcoming struggles within. I think it's Buddhism. Right. Um, but there was a quote that said. Even in the dirtiest of waters, the lotus produces the most beautiful flower. I am strong and I will succeed no matter what happens to me. So uh, that's what I kind of used as my core idea. So the video is kind of like there's a storm kind of thing in this world I've created. I call it Planet Destiny. Um, Nice. (laughs) I like it. And then... um, they all run because, of course, to them, you know, everything's supposed to be happy in this planet destiny world. Uh, they've never seen, you know, any kind of storm, any kind of negativity. So a storm comes down. The townspeople obviously run like, you know, natural disaster vibe. Right. Um, I get abandoned and left alone. And I'm the only one who kind of knows. There's this bird that I created. I made it out of, like, foam and feathers and paint and stuff. And I've attached him to, like, a fishing wire behind the scenes. But he comes down and he takes this crystal, which is supposed to be, like, the planet's heart. And he's taken that. And that's what disrupted the natural, you know, balance of this world's universe and, like, started the chain reaction where the storm comes down. So I'm the only one who's seen that. So I'm strolling around alone (laughs) in this planet's forest and fauna or whatever, thinking that I'm kind of hopeless. I find the lotus flower and I return that to the planet's heart so right. that it's kind of like a replacement, like a peace offering, and then all the townspeople get their own. So it's kind of like passing on that energy of coming together and that kind of thing. <laughs> so, Jesse, where can people find the song if they want to listen to it on their spare time? They can find it on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, MGM, Tidal, Deezer, or if you're a bit broke like I can be sometimes. <laughs> We've all been there. Yes. <laughs> It's up on YouTube for free. Well, thank you, Jessie May. And this is her song, Come the Eye of the Storm. My name is Brandon McMillan, and you're listening to The Weekend Beat on Coast FM 963.